Verehrte Damen und Dear ladies and gentlemen, today's appeal not only goes out to you, but also to all upright politicians, police, military and state authorities. Mostly, though, it is an appeal to Europe's consensus prosecuting authorities. From the beginning of the Ukrainian crisis up to this day, it has been proven through a variety of film material that the mass media are intertwined in spreading a pack of lies. It all started when they said that peaceful demonstrators were massacred by Ukrainian police units. The documentary Terrorist Activities of Peaceful Demonstrators, however, shows that the exact opposite was happening. Before the police units took action, what is their actual duty? Some of them were gruesomely brought to death while they were resisting passively for days. The so-called peaceful demonstrators heard the policemen on regular duty starting with iron poles, bricks, heavy chains, chemical sprays and much more. Next, they began throwing incendiary devices into the midst of the police units, causing police officers to be burned alive. That not being enough, these mercenaries used firearms to shoot down or even beat to death many of the police forces. Even though the real events have been captured on film and have not only been publicly published but also handed over to the media, the mainstream media kept supporting the activities of the terrorists. Even though the mainstream media knew better, they clung to their lying statement that these actions had been enacted through peaceful demonstrators. Furthermore, they condemn actual video recordings and public broadcastings, an example of which is ARD, a German broadcasting station, on their weekly program on 13th of March 2014. This may have been the reason behind the following worldwide ban on most of the important online film documents. Some films just disappeared. This happened under the pretext of lacking musical copyrights. Yet from the beginning, many on-site Ukrainian witnesses have confirmed that US-paid and US-instructed mercenaries were specifically trying to destabilize Ukraine. However, the mainstream media, despite all these facts, continues to serve these warmongering forces. It is becoming more and more clear that this U.S. arranged putsch and all following terrorist activities in Ukraine are intended to be the starting point of an inter-European war situation. All of this war propaganda is aimed at completely entangling Europe in a war against Russia. The only hope for sparing Europe is for the immediate and strict rejection of any further cooperation with these warmongers. The fact that our Western mainstream media prefer their warmongering reports despite the strong evidence against and anti-war efforts is becoming evident through their active fighting against the Monday demonstrations. Monday demonstrations are anti-war demonstrations which are being carried out in more and more European cities for the past several months. These are systematically reviled by mainstream media. This reviling, however, is an action against international law because it composes a seditious crime. The stopping of war is made impossible. Countless evidence has proven that the exact same thing is happening in Ukraine, which previously happened to the Arabic Spring countries. In both of these, the U.S. led wars under the guise of democratization, and the mainstream media actively supported these warmongers. With their lies and slander, they have almost completely distorted the minds and perception of the European people. Just a little bit more of this propaganda and all European people will show readiness to go to war once more. This impeding war, however, no one will win.
They will only be losers. The USA has always profited from the past two world wars as well as all wars in between and thereby rehabilitated their mismanagement. It must not happen again that the whole world will be plunged into decay through US egotism. Therefore, we appeal to all heads of states, military, police forces and prosecuting authorities, as well as similar institutions, which are righteous and still capable of exercising judgment, to stop the mouth of the lying mainstream media, to immediately withdraw their every right to broadcast and to call them to account for supporting terrorist warmongers, mandate that all video material must be presented in official media to all European people, for the people have a right to such existential counter-voices. These, however, are being categorically and consequently denied by mainstream media, even though it would be their lawful duty. What Klagemauer TV has been reporting through Ukrainian witnesses on site has now been identically summarized by Sergei Klatsyev, the economic advisor of Vladimir Putin, in a speech on June the 10th of 2014. If you have a chance to watch it, dear viewers, pay attention to the provocative way Vladimir Putin is stirred up to intervene militarily in Ukraine. See how much Putin is recoiling at these provocations, but not only he, all of the Russian government does the same, yet the goal of the warmongering provocateurs is certain. Russia is meant to be drawn into a war whether they like it or not, in order that a later historiography will not be able to wrongly claim Russia had provoked these conflicts. Be attentive to how things are before it happens. Russia does not want any war. Yet Russia is systematically forced to war. If you can pray, do so, in order that these US stirred terror attacks in the name of democratization are not going to succeed and will come to an end. In the name of the people, we again appeal to all prosecuting authorities to take immediate measures so the present warmongering and hate propaganda through the allied mainstream media will find an immediate end. Dear viewers, if you can identify with this appeal, then give it to the prosecuting authority of your area as a charge against mainstream media. Thank you for helping to spread this news according to your strength and ability.